Hey, it's Nay. And welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome if you're new here. Today we have the battle of the niche versus the clone, okay? This is Altair by Parfums de Marly, a very popular brand and a, a fairly popular fragrance. Um, It's got a relatively new release to it. And then we have here the Eagle Has Landed, which is the Dua Brands impression inspiration of this fragrance. So we're going to go head to head and we're going to do on paper and on skin. I have left my skin bare for you. I have moisturized. Listen. But it yeah, moisturized with non-scented. So we're going to hop, skip, jump right into it. So I'm going to spray... The Eagle has landed, three sprays, then three sprays of Alt Air. Give that a second. Let's talk about the bottle first and foremost. Let's just be real, okay? We're going to be honest, okay? First of all, this is a 1. No. <laughs> this is a 2.5 fluid ounce bottle. It retails, I believe, for $250. Two hundred and fifty U.S. dollars, I believe. Let me make sure. Yes. <laughs> uh, and depending where you go, three fifteen to three. Wow, this is retailing anywhere from two fifty to three hundred and twenty dollars. Big money, big coin. Okay, people's car payment groceries for the month like i mean maybe not from i mean it depends how many people do not you know what i'm saying this is highly highly expensive and then we have here the dua brands the eagle has landed 55 us dollars however 8.8 .8 times out of a 10 dua is having some sort of sales so you can get this around the 42 43 dollar range I think I gave it enough time. The bottle definitely is more chic, prettier, nicer, heavier. And that's like not, that's even taking into consideration like the different juice. The bottle in and of itself is just quality. I mean, the cap is, the cap, which has no juice in there, okay, is heavy as heck just by itself, guys. Uh, so, this one has horsies on it. And this one has an eagle. This is technically the men's, uh, they're marking this towards men, which I still think is hilarious. And Duo also says that this is marketed towards men, which I think is hilarious. I think this is unisex, landing a little feminine, but wear what you want, when you want to wear it, how much of it you want to wear. I've given it plenty of time. Altair, the eagle has landed. Off rip on the paper, I'm spelling some differences. The the citrusy uh more uh because of the citrus, there's a little bit more of a brightness in the original, the Altair. They both contain almost the identical, if not the oh no, they're okay, it's not a hundred percent. There is cardamom listed in the original Altair that is not listed in the dual one but it <laughs> they smell similar this one just seems brighter there's a little bit of a small sparkling texture to the original on paper that is not on here funny enough i think that's making this project a little more right now the warmth and sweet kind of cuddly yet sexiness to both of these makes the fragrance a little bit more or feel a little bit more like it's closer to you but the brightness of this one is giving a little bit more of a puff 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 pass no you do not want this smoke sleeping on me but okay, let me stop i like them both i think they're both wonderful i'm gonna spray them on my skin 
twice. Atomizer for the Dua brand is really good. Now, the Atomizer for the Dua brand is more of like a... The Atomizer for Altair is, is dripping down my arm. It's definitely got more juice that spits out at you. Not necessarily in a bad way. I just wanted to show you that it's it's more and it's a stronger stream like a faster okay versus the of a gentler stream guys it's very similar on skin it's 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 extremely similar to my nostrils i don't I, I, this is a warm ambery vanilla slightly spiced fragrance with a barest hint of powder The bergamot note is a little stronger in the original, the Altair, which is funny because when I wear Altair, the bergamot is not something I feel like I call out often, I don't think, because it, it's just such a warm fragrance. But when comparing the two, the Eagle Has Landed is definitely even more encompassing because it has less of that bergamot note i don't like or dislike that i'm indifferent to that fact one thing i can say already is that the eagle has landed is smelling like just the barest hint of more powdery than altair this is not to say it's giving heavy powder i smell a little bit of a slight powdery touch to altair but it's more of a warm hug that piles some kisses on you. It's doing some things to you. Giving not quite dark, but maybe a little steamy of a situation going on. Altair is giving, maybe the lights are actually turned down a little lower. Like it, it they're both creating that scene of comfort yet enticement, but The eagle has landed is not ha it it's almost a little less nuanced if that makes any sense because that bergamot really does do a little bit more of a differentiation between the two and I think that is amazing it, it, I'm still shining from the Altair and I sprayed two sprays of each and you see a little bit of the duo still shining but it's 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 a obvious difference you get what i'm saying that's just something to point out the price point is massive there's a there's a massive price point difference uh it, pdm is let's read some comments i'm on fragrantica for anyone that's wondering P, pdm is a master of vanilla frags this vanilla praline and cinnamon bomb is truly amazing heavy vanilla scent that does not disappoint blind by worthy see i wouldn't say this is a super heavy fragrance it's encompassing like a hug with some intimate kisses mm -hmm. initially to me this smells like sweet leather mm -hmm. and i feel like this would be great for someone 35 to 50 it isn't a young scent at all uh, i don't know if i would agree with that this has become one of my favorite pdm scents if you want to have a different experience with this fragrance i was messing around one day here at home said to myself hmm i wonder how this would smell with an oud type fragrance that's a good idea actually well i pulled out the old town for oud wood and wow gotta try it ladies and gentlemen thank me later it's all about cardamom very natural and realistic smelling cinnamon is in the side and so is bergamot which gives slight freshness i agree after about 20 minutes, you start smelling the vanilla, which is very warm and seductive. Gourmand-type vanilla. I feel like I smell that from Rip for both of them. This gourmand vanilla. This edibleness. And, ooh, and van ooh, gourmand type of vanilla. Imagine cutting into cardamom and vanilla ice cream smells out with some praline. I think I could agree with that to an extent. If I had to describe it in three words, then it would be cardamom, vanilla, ice cream. Okay, I don't think I would have guessed said ice cream. But I get the thought of this creaminess in the fragrance almost to me caramel like a bit more than a vanilla ice cream 
but it's wonderful the point is it's a gourmand scent but for grown people the cardamom is definitely playing a role of a slight spiced texture i'm really enjoying this i this is very new to my collection ego has landed so I can't tell you speak to longevity and such and it is very new i want to give it a week like let's say two weeks because i've already had this for a few weeks now a couple weeks i want to give this about two weeks and then try them out to be fair to the untrained and i wouldn't even consider myself trained let's say i am a full-blown toddler in the perfume industry the perfume world um I think the bergamot would possibly, if you are searching very hard, I'm going to give this a solid 85 to, eight, 85 to 90% similarities, especially as it's drying down and that bergamot is lifting a little bit from this. So it's getting more cozy. It's getting sim more similar to this. The thing I've noticed about dupe fragrances, impression of fragrances, quite a few of them, will skip over or very shortly encompass the opening of the fragrance it's duping and go right to the dry down so if you felt like a lot like you know especially niche fragrances the opening throws you off or just a bit much or you're not the biggest fan of a roller coaster of changing scent profiles dupes clones impression ofs inspirations are probably your better way to go because this is drying down a little more similar to the eagles landed One thing I can say, typically with brands like Dua, Okja, their fragrances do tend to be stronger than the original. Altair, to me, is quite a strong scent profile um, that they just chose. And because they made it with a man in mind, I do feel like it's even more potent. A lot of these men fragrances, even they're down to their freaking eau de toilettes, be lasting all of eternity, which is insane. Um... So I am kind of glad they decided to talk like it's, like it's a man fragrance, but it's very much giving woman fragrance. But the bergamot in here definitely gives it a freshness. Not soapy, just a fresh uplifting. I don't ever get like a tang. I don't get like quite like a tang tang, but I get an uplifted, slightly sparkling texture in the beginning that I don't get in the Eagle Has Landed. But both, like I said, 85 to 90% similarity, guys. I just, I... I wouldn't stress if 250 to 320 is ridiculous to you. Go on, go get this. I also heard that Ben's uh, Club... It is called... Mercedes Benz Club Black. I heard that that is quite similar I will be purchasing that. Now, the thing up to about for me about having similar up having the same scent profile multiple times, I have to truly enjoy the scent profile. And I'm I'm here to tell you, I don't know if you're going to see it. The dent is already here on this fragrance. So what's going to happen, and yes, it's the year 2024, the year to be dunning fragrances, not my parfums de Marley's. My niche fragrances, I'm a little more hesitant and uh, probably won't empty as many as uh, the other fragrances that I have because the price point is disgusting uh, to even think about repurchasing. So what's going to end up happening is I will be getting the Mercedes-Benz Black because this set profile works for me. And I will be using this and let's say I wear six sprays of this, right? I'll be doing three to four of this and two to three of this. Does that make sense? This way this lasts longer, but I'm still enjoying it because I don't want to just have a very expensive fragrance just to keep to look pretty. That's not why I buy fragrances. So I want to still enjoy it without draining it too much too quickly because that dent in this amount of time is is actually insane i don't know are you guys gonna do you see that can i take this off is, is putting this up against guys 
I have a little bit of attitude actually for that day. <laughs> so I will be getting the Ben's Cup Black so I can also tell you guys how I feel about that. But this scent profile I think is amazing. I think it's a great scent profile for the cooler weather. Now I say cooler weather, however, it's also giving very much so date night. I don't know about in 100 degree weather, but I think fall, winter, and spring, spring nighttime, because you know Sam's so free that bees them, this is going to work very well in. So let me know what you think of Altair. If you even like this scent profile, if you think the scent profile was, was worth it, or if it's overdone. I haven't really saw anything quite like this. I can list a few things that are certain things in here that this reminds me of, but nothing I could feel like is exact. And I, I'm really glad. I'm really glad the dual brand, brand dropped this. I, I think this is necessary. I think they do a good job on a lot of dupes. To be fair, you're never going to find a dupe house you're going to like every single fragrance, right? That's just probably not going to happen. But I do think Duba is just doing something right. Something correct. Anyway, let's talk about this down below. And please don't forget to hit that like button if you're enjoying my content. If this is not your first video at all, like just in general of me, just hit that like and subscribe button. If this is not your first video and in the, the same day or within a 24 hour span, I'm going to need you to leave a comment, say hey, because hey, what's up? Uh, majority of my content is viewed by women. So I'm going to say hey, girl, hey. But if it's the off chance it is a man or a they, them, what's good? Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. It's got its name, look good, feel good, smell good, have a great day. Bye!